next category is the best entrepreneurial leadership in a startup. So this recognizes those of you who choose to work in small companies. And I am sitting here live from Enterprise Works, which is here in the Research Park, a location where we have about 60 resident companies working on a range of different technologies. And it gives students in many cases an opportunity to continue work in scientific roles, but also to learn about new venture creation and what it's like to be in a startup company. So the first intern that I would like to recognize as a finalist is Olivia Rent, and she is a psionic mechatronics intern, undergraduate in biomedical engineering. Do we have Olivia present? We do. She is waving with the ability hand. I see her. Oh, awesome. If we could take it off of spotlight, I hope people can see the people again. Please, somebody, if you could modify. It is not on spotlight. And if I could spotlight Olivia, though. OK, great. All right, Olivia, with the ability hand. Woohoo! Awesome. OK, thank you so much. And um, that is one of their products. And I don't know if we have Deepak Bala here to tell a little bit more about Olivia's work. Olivia, you're um, on mute. Oh, I'm, I'm Olivia's other supervisor. What can you guys oh, mute? James is here to tell us about Olivia. Yeah, I'm Olivia's other supervisor. I can talk a little bit about um, a little bit about Olivia's extensive accomplishments at Psionic. Um, so Olivia was hired on um, uh, as an intern as part of a program from uh, what's what's the school again? Uh, University, of Cincinnati. University of Cincinnati. Um, so they sort of partially sponsored it, um, and she's working for the entire year here at Sionic, uh, full time, forty hours a week. So she's a year long intern. Um, and when we hired her, we were like, oh, you know, I bet she'll be okay. Like at the very least, it's getting part sponsored. It's fine. She completely blew our expectations out of the water. Like we were just like, oh, hoping to have like someone like helping out with general things the entire year, but she has gone above and beyond and taken on so many like roles and initiatives by herself that it's like basically another full-time employee here. Um, just completely exceeded all our wildest dreams for a year long intern. That's great, James. And th thank you for telling us a little bit more about Olivia and Olivia doing a little product placement there with the bionic arm. Appreciate that. Okay, so next up, our next finalist is Daniel Gilo. And he is from Symbiosis and he is a computational biologist intern. And he, interestingly, is also an undergraduate student in bioengineering. And I'm hoping. We've got Dan here to tell you, uh, oh, Dan's here nominated. I'm sorry, I'm seeing you on camera. So that's awesome. And Daniel's manager is John Cole. We've got John from Symbiosis. John also was recently featured in a podcast. And if you'd like to learn more about Symbiosis and how they are trying to do more uh, precise treatment of cancer, you can learn more on John's podcast for the Research Park. All right, John, tell us about Dan. Uh, hi there, Laura. Uh, yeah, so um, I first met Dan, uh, Dan Gilo uh, when he was a junior uh, undergraduate student at the university. I was I was actually teaching a class um, in in the bioengineering department for a semester, and uh, he was sort of head and shoulders uh, the most um, uh, advanced student in, in, in the class, uh, at least from my perspective. Um, a few months later, uh, when he was uh, applying to graduate school, he had actually asked me uh, to write a letter on his behalf. And as I was writing it, I was thinking about what made uh, Mr. Gilo special as a, as a student and why I thought he was going to become um, a, a successful scientist. And, and I sort of listed out a few of, the, of his, of his um, best qualities. And right at the end of the letter, I had uh, jotted down, I'd written, you know, if, you know, I would hire this man in a heartbeat to join my team um, if I had the chance. And as soon as I had written it, I sort of looked it over and I thought, that, that's 100% right. That's exactly how I feel about him. So the same evening, I, had, uh, I, I sent off, I, I shot him an email asking if he would uh, come join my team uh, as an intern. Um, so I, that, you, that sort of, I hope, gives a sense of, of 
how much faith and admiration I have for him uh, as a young uh, scientist and engineer. Um, I would say he started off working with us uh, earlier in the summer and probably within 72 hours had uh, made a fairly significant contribution to the work that we're doing. Uh, for those not familiar with symbiosis, um, we are a biotech company that develops essentially decision support software for oncology. Uh, we build very comprehensive mathematical and computational models of, of individual tumors and allow physicians to simulate what will happen under a range of different treatment options. And some of the work that we do is developing uh, mathematical models of how drugs affect uh, different types of cancers. Uh, and right off the bat, Dan Gilo uh, jumped in, developed uh, from scratch a model of of a drug called Apatinib, and it's been working on, on another big one um, uh, uh, called cyclophosphamide. Both of these are, are important in the treatment of breast cancer and many other cancers. Um, and he is, I mean, despite his, his, his uh, youth, uh, one of the most talented young scientists I think I've ever met in my entire life. Uh, so, I am so proud to, 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 to have the opportunity to, to mentor Mr. Gilo, and, and I, can't, uh, I can't say enough how excited I am to see what he does as the, in, in the future as, as his career progresses. Well, thank you so much, John. I hope that means a lot to you, Dan, of how enthusiastic John is about your career trajectory and your research accomplishments as well. And our next, nominee and is a graphic design student and I'm going to mention that I think I forgot to say when I was introducing some of the other students as I got started tonight that we also had another graphic design student and that was Matthew Waldinger and I will also mention that Anna was industrial design so we have some really fantastic people from fine and applied arts making accomplishments. Molly Izzy is next and she is from Ascent Integrated Tech and she um, is going to be talked about I saw that Alex Gorsuch was here, but I think Paul Kalston might be talking about her. Alex is in his office here in Enterprise Works and looks like he's in the witness protection program with the shadow on his face right now. Um, but either Alex or Paul, if you want to talk a little bit more about Molly. And do we have Molly? Give us a wave. Oh, I see Paul and Alex. So I'll go to Paul since that's what I have on my sheet. Thanks, Laura. And I'm actually sitting right next to Alex here. Uh, we're at a fire conference. So He's actually not in the witness. He's not in the building, so that's not the shadow. <laughs> awesome. Well, uh, just to talk briefly about Molly, I mean, she actually joined our team as an intern through Research Park uh, last fall, back when our logo was literally just this, just that triangle. And then she added on this part and an awesome name. So she's done an incredible job from day one in terms of making a promise and being able to deliver on that promise. Since then, she's gone on to completely revamp our website, which has brought in a ton of customer traction and interest for pilots as well as investors. And since then, she's actually joined us part-time over the summer as our UI X and UX engineer um, to help us build out our application to keep firefighters safe. Um, and every single day she comes in, uh, we kind of assign her some tasks she is able to deliver and she always exceeds expectations. Um, but enough from me, I actually want Alex to also say a little bit about Malik as well. Uh, first, thanks for stealing my uh, wit sex protection um, joke, Laura. So thanks for that. Um, <clears throat> I thought it was gonna be great. Anyway, yeah, Molly's awesome. Um, even at like 8 a.m. this morning, um, we were at a diner uh, eating and prepping presentations as startups often do before conferences and Paul texted her and said, hey, can you get me an asset? And she got it to him within five minutes. Uh, she's been really consistently phenomenal. Um, she's taken such great ownership of our portal. She's taken really great ownership of our website, of our pitch decks. I mean, she's just been really a 10 Xer, totally phenomenal. Um, and she's also been really uh, focused on customer discovery as we are as a venture and really understanding the customer needs. She's been just fantastic in every way. And that's why uh, she actually just accepted a full-time role with us. That is awesome. Well, it sounds like you got a really stellar student. So congratulations to Alex and Paul. 
for having Molly on your team. And I hope to meet you in the building as we're wandering around a little bit more hard to find in masks as the rules just changed again. But uh, thank you for, for nominating each of these incredible students. I could hear the passion from each of you in talking about their work and it is truly exemplary. And as determined by the judges again, I'll say there was a group of judges that read these applications and didn't necessarily hear in your voices. So uh, what you each had to say, and it was really powerful. But those of you who wrote in really, I think, um, were able to persuade also of why your students are amazing. And in this category, we are very happy to recognize Olivia from Psionic, back with her bionic arm, um, to tell us more about your experience working at Psionic. Hello, everyone. Thank you so much for nominating me and choosing me for this award. It means so much. Uh, when I started at Psionic, I couldn't even hold a screwdriver. Uh, a drill was really heavy. I <laughs> did a lot of crazy things were thrown at me that I wasn't really used to. Uh, but now I'm carbon fiber molding, silicone casting, programming, assembling these hands. And recently I've gotten the opportunity to travel with the CEO, Adil Akhtar, to a bunch of patients. And I've been able to try the handout on all of the patients and it's truly been an amazing experience. I've learned from these patients to have patience with myself as I grow through this career pathway and to also have courage to try new things as they try out our hand. Uh, uh, thank you to everyone who nominated me and for giving me the opportunity to excel in this field and to let me try everything that's been thrown my way. Uh, it's truly been an amazing opportunity and thank you so much for welcoming me on the team. Yeah. <laughs> Awesome job, Olivia. Keep building things that help people. Um, appreciate it. And congratulations to the other nominees and finalists.